Donna, thank you again for being here. So much appreciate you taking the time. It's my pleasure. Thanks for the invitation. So Donna, I know you as relatively recent, right? I know you kind of the Donna James today, and we've heard your, your bio and your list of accomplishments, and it's impressive. Thank you. Um, tell me a bit of the story about how you got to where we are today. I have always wanted to be a leader. When I started my job with PwC, my goal was to become a partner. And that has been with me my entire life. Um, leading, um, being in charge, um, but not necessarily being authoritarian. Yeah. I had to learn what good leadership looked like by understanding also what it meant to be good with people in a very authentic way. When organizations don't have good people development programs, systems, expectations, everybody suffers. The people who suffer most are people from diverse backgrounds, sure. diverse ethnicities, because the systems don't already work for them as they are, just from relationship building and that type of thing and the myths that people have about one another. So. If you don't have good training, development, mentorship programs, um, opportunities for people to take on different assignments, grow from those, fail in them, but not die from that failure, so to speak, people of color and women, African Americans, Latinx, Indian, whomever, women, suffer the most. Sure. Two social workers who knew my history, my background as a young mother, came to me with a problem that was going on in the community around the young mothers um, and asked me to help them start a home for girls. I put my business hat on and thought, okay, so why isn't there one already? If there has been, why did it fail? What's needed? There were a lot of layers to try to solve for, but the entry point was that young parent and the child. I started thinking through and enlisted a young woman who was a behavioral health specialist. She came to me to sit down and get some mentoring around her career. And we're having dinner and I'm listening and she's telling me about her background. So I told her about this idea I had, the problem in the community. To this day, she's my co-founder. And that's how it got started. And we came up with this model that we commit it to ourselves. If we get the problem solved and it's no longer needed, we're gonna shut it down because we don't need one more nonprofit. But we're not going to do it the same way everyone else has done it. After 10 years, it was more than sustainable. It was growing. My partner was the CEO and she was doing a phenomenal job. We were creating jobs and solving life problems. And it's changing lives, it's changing lives across multiple generations. So all of our things have a mission yeah. um, in the giving, do well to do more good. A common trait of very good leaders. You lead and leave it such that when you can leave the organization, the organization is sustaining. You build it so that it can sustain. Yeah. And you have a have a clearly a career record of that. So thank you so much for being here today. Um, really enjoyed it. Love visiting with you. It's been my pleasure. Thank you for the invitation.